the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development have received pest and disease management equipment from the World University Service of Canada, marking another step in their ongoing commitment to enhancing the capacity of the agricultural sector through the implementation of farmer field schools. The Farmer Field School program focuses on pest and disease management, specifically targeting the sweet potato weevil, the diamondback moth in cabbage, and the white fly and bacterial wilt found in tomatoes. The equipment provided includes environmentally friendly pest trapping tools, expected to play a crucial role in empowering producers through practical pest and disease management techniques. The handover ceremony featured demonstrations of the equipment's functionality, showcasing how these tools will contribute to modernizing farming methods and improving crop yields. Field facilitator under the WUSC project, Faustinus Monero, says farmer field schools are a cornerstone of agricultural development, providing farmers with hands-on experience to improve their farming practices. What you have in the present system of agriculture is a lot of Fossil fuel is being used, more than 50%, well, quite a bit to generate more than 50% of your greenhouse gases. That is nitrogen and carbon dioxide, right? So if we could reduce that by going back to those methods, then we would help in contributing to the decline or to the negative impacts of climate change. So basically, who's through the SAC is trying to emphasize principles and practices, climate smart practices, that would help in that regard. Director of Agricultural Services, Dr. Aurea King-Snack, expressed her gratitude for WUSC's continued support, emphasizing the positive impact of such initiatives on the agriculture sector. We are elated to note that the SAC project aims at creating transformative, gender and youth inclusive, climate smart agricultural markets that are sustainable, profitable, and competitive with undercurrent and future climatic threats. This approach will provide a holistic perspective to managing the risk of climate change by addressing the adaptation needs of grassroots actors. Mr. Monero alluded to that earlier. That increasing productivity and income enhance resilience of livelihoods and ecosystems while increasing the capacity to better mitigate and adapt to adverse climate conditions. As the partnership between the Ministry of Agriculture's Extension Services Division and WUSC continues to grow, it is expected that the agriculture sector will see further advancements in technology adoption and improved livelihoods for farmers. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.